Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to blink this green LED for five times using for loop. Let's switch it on again. It's blinking. Let's go into it. Before we go further, it's better to watch the introduction video which is available here. Also the STM32 Cube IDE intro installation video. The book we are using is this one. If you go to page number 74, which is page number 60 here, and uh, we can zoom in and uh, loops while and for is here it's something like this while expression statement and you can read through it's like this expression one expression two expression three the simpler one is from a website if you go to web w3 schools uh, c language uh, learn c uh, if you click uh, while loop, this one, while condition, this code will be executed. The example is like this. We have a integer variable i and the condition and then we increment the variable. We can try to understand this way. The integer i is 0. And then it comes here and it checks the i is 0, it's below 5, so it can go inside the loop. So in this area, i is 0, and then it increments, it adds 1 to i, so it's i become 1 now. And it comes here, now i is 1, and then it goes again here and it checks. Now i is 1, below 5, it goes inside. So now i is 1 here. And then it increments again, i is 2, and then come back here. Now, i is 2, it's below 5, it goes inside again. So, now i is 2 here, and then add 1, so i is 3. So, come back again, now i is 3, it's below 5, so i is 3 here, i is 4 here. And come back again, i is 4, it's below 5, so it can go inside. So, i is 4 here, it adds 1 i is 5 now. So when when become i is 5, it's no longer true. It's 5 is not below 5, it's equal. So it won't go inside the loop. So it will end the loop and it will go whatever the commands below here. So it went inside the loop for 5 times. Now I have opened the cube IDE. Again I tell the cube IDE installation video is here. I click system core. Sys, for the debug, select serial wire and PC13, make it as a GPIO output and we can click save and generate the code, click save and it will generate the code. The main.c file is generated, when you go below, int main void function is here, that's the main function. After the hull init, then all the clock certificate uh, setup, user code begin2 is here. In this area, we I will give you this code in the description below. I copy from here to here and then come to cube ID and the same place you can paste. What it does is i equals 0 and the loop is here. Inside the loop, we toggle the pin GPO C13 for 500 millisecond and then toggle again for 500 millisecond. So it will blink one time. Now we can save the code. After saving, we press this green button to run the code. This button. So it's been verified successfully. Watch this green light here, switch it on again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thanks. Bye.